Yo, what's going on guys? Today is the day that we're finally gonna take a look at Shiva. Now, before we start the video, I wanna make one note. Um, since I am re-farming gold bars again, now I want to start doing Bahamut high levels on stream. Uh, I will also be taking um, viewers, hosts and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna join my stream and host and come do your Bahamut high levels, I'd be much appreciated. I will, you can join my Twitch stream. I'll be doing it today. I haven't decided the other days throughout the week where I'll be doing this, but I know I will be doing this today. Uh, it's currently January 6th at the time of recording this video. So if you guys want to come join, I'd be much appreciated. I may upload a video before I go live on Twitch for people who want to come join. Now, back to the video and back to this amazing, beautiful man of a character because he is ridiculous. Ridiculous! His damage output. Not only does he have immense damage output, he supports the team too. What? what? <laughs> oh, brother! Now Shiva, he's a he, he's a real man's man. He's a fire primal attack user. His specialties are spear and staff. With spear is pretty good. He has synergy with Anella. And the newest character, Athena. There's also Zeta. I, I bet you guys forgot he was a character, but he still is. Now, you also have the way of going with a staff team with Magasa. You have Zom, the fire potato girl, the one that has flare. Could you, I, I don't think you need flare. He gives you enough damage, but if you didn't have enough, well, you have that option too. You also have Claris. Uh, I, I don't think you need to use that unit with him. But you know, you you got a couple options with his specialty unit, with the element he's in, which is fire. So not bad. Now, his ogi, his ogi does massive fire damage to a foe, boosts the shiva attack one time, inner eye awaken sharp boost to the next charge attack specs. So after he uses inner eye, well he gains attack boost and inner eye. And then afterwards, he ga um he gains more damage. So it can also boost his um autos too, because you know that was that was fair enough. But you know, <sighs> it's ridiculous, man. This unit is ridiculous because he gets all that for an ogi. Now the the downfall to it, because we'll look at his passive. It's to counteract how strong his Ogi is, but this no, he could pop out four million Ogies like it's nothing. <laughs> That's all you gotta know. He don't, he don't got no sentence in grid, and he dealt with four million Ogies. Like you know, I just casually four million Ogi, bro. <laughs> what defense? No defense now. <laughs> oh man, this unit is ridiculous, bro. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> who thought this was okay? <laughs> who? Who? <laughs> now, Trishula, and not the Yu-Gi-Oh card. If anybody know about Trish, <laughs> she killed people on Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. <laughs> but uh, Trishula is his uh, skill one, deals 800% fire damage to a foe, and applied purifying flame effect. <sighs> this gives a <laughs> three debuffs one being a attack down a defense down and on top of that for god knows whatever reason it takes more it takes health away from the boss it's a damage over time i don't know why i don't know who thought this was who 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 and you can't and it can't be removed who thought this was okay this <laughs> there's no timer. There's no nothing. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> so. Oh my God. Why? For the love. Of Why? This. Why? Why? Ah. <sighs> now, we're on to his skill two, which is a party-wide buff. It boosts all allies' attack and damage cap, and gives damage reduction because <laughs> boosting their attack and 
Blue's in there attacking. Damn, his cap was not enough. We just had to throw the damage reduction part in there just to cover all bases. Because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this attack unit needs to... <laughs> some For some for whatever reason, needs to give the fence buffs to... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and if that was not enough, it cannot be dispelled. So screw over Ultimate Bahamut. Now, the one thing is that it does only last five turns on 11 turn cooldown. That's some way of quote unquote balancing it out. I don't think it's really balancing anything, but you know, yeah, that's cool. I will mention that it's a 15% attack up, 10% damage cap up, and 20% damage lowered. Now, why is it like that? I don't know, but side games thought that was okay. Can we get a <sighs> this unit, bro? <laughs> now, his least impressive skill with like a world of text. <laughs> we haven't even read it yet, but you can see that that's like like five different things on it. Cause you know why not? Uh, first, he deals triple attacks in effect. With no cost. I want that to be noticed. <clears throat> Zeta. <clears throat> Hellish. <clears throat> These characters. And like. Having 30%. Cost on their triple attack. He gets it for free. And not only does he get that triple attack. He gets a dodge tank. And counter to the caster. So that was not enough. He gets wind damage reduction. 20%. Not enough. And on top of that. He gets critical rate up. 80% and 20%. 80% chance of criticals, 20% damage boost. So it's, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. You won't crit all the time, but you'll be critting a lot. Four buffs, one skill. Now do know it's a two out of seven, which is pretty low. If it was three, oh lordy. Oh lordy. That's their way of kind of balancing it out. Like his cooldowns are really hefty. But when he hit his skills, bro, you know he's about to do some damage. <laughs> you know that for a fact. Now, we look at his passive, which is Dance of Not... What? <laughs> not a Raja? Or wh whatever. Some, some, something like that. No, no bully. No bully. Now, as I mentioned, in order to nerf or the balance out hit the power of his Ogi... In case you guys didn't see that, you know, the, the 4 million Ogi that he gets on no defense down. Because, you know, that's very fair. Um, he gains a low charge bar gain. Now, for that low charge bar gain, he gets deals high damage for one foe attacks. You may remember from Kubara, even though he came out first. I'm doing him second. Don't bully me. He also gains a Ruin level maker. Ruin, my fault. Ruin maker level rises by one upon using charge attack. So every time he charge attacks, he gains one Ruin Maker. That's not in his, um, his Ogi, it's only via his passive. So it's not like Kubara, where Kubara actually has it in her Ogi. I don't think that matters much, but for some reason, if like, let's say they make Ogi buffs not effective, he would still gain it in this situation. I don't, there's no content like that currently, but that's something that should be factored in in case they ever make a boss where you don't gain Ogi buffs. Now for each stat, he does gain a boost to its attack and triple attack rate based on a Ruin Maker level. Uh, the stats, the way they work is that he gains 10% and 5% TA on his first stack. Second stack, he gains 20 and 10, 20 attack and 10 TA. Third stack is 30 TA. 30 attack and 15 TA. Fourth stack is 40%, 40% attack and 20% TA. It's kind of getting ridiculous. You can see where it's going. And he gains 50% attack and 25% TA on his third, his fifth stack, my fault. Because, you know, he didn't get enough attack. <laughs> Clearly not. Do note though, it does take him a while to get this many stacks due to his low charge bar gain. So that's very important to keep in uh, when you're thinking about this unit. And for his last passive, he has the 
normal patch of that all the other Shiva t series or Genesis, I believe they're called, characters like Europa and Alex, increase to all allies, boost to a fire attack effect, getting them 30% more damage for free, as long as you have fire attack up. So, that's your boy Shiva. He's a strong unit. He's powerful. And, and if that wasn't enough, they was like, yo, give him good EMPs too. <laughs> because, you know, he, this unit, why he TA so much? <laughs> like, why? Oh, man. He has three TA nodes for whatever reason. I don't, if there was ever a character I recommend ringing, you gotta you may have to ring this guy because he has just too many nodes. There's not enough EMP for him. You definitely want to match up his CA damage. I mean, he, he caps regardless, but in like high level content, like let's say high level Bahamut. Nah, he probably capped it there too, bro. <laughs> he he probably cap it there too. Maybe not on the water element part, so you may want to cap that out so that he can cap on the water part of the Hobbit high level, I guess. Um, he's something. He sure is something. These are, these are the EMPs I'm going with. I'm going to max out his crit with the other two points I have, and then with the last point, I'll probably I don't know. I'll probably drop it in one of these triple attacks, or maybe charge attack damage. I have to figure it out. Uh, anyways. That's enough glossing over this unit. Let's get to some actual gameplay. Okay, so this team may look a little bit different than what you may normally see me run. Um, you can also notice that I'm doing double Shiva. Uh, you probably don't ever see me do that ever. Uh, the pull may be looking a little bit ghetto. It, it is. Uh, I'm gonna be barring the Katana if Vera's weapons are not good, but for now, we have no mag, uh, no magnifest or leg fest weapons or anything like that in the pool. Free to play pool. You saw it. Any of you guys, you know, if you have Shiva, you can build this. Provided you have the characters, but not that bad. It works. It's really heavily reliant on Anella. So if you don't got Anella, get Anella, and it works perfectly fine. One thing I will mention is that the sun on this is not actually full limit break. It's actually only SSR. So. Thought I'll throw that in there for people if they're doing rank. Thought that'd be it's kind of important, you know. So hopefully we start defense down. If not, oh well. Okay. So time to hit these very fair buttons. Oh man. Oh, oh, I'm so good. Oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> I'm so good at game. So ideally, Athena gets hit here the most but you know if not oh well pretty man over here long bone. Long bone. Ah, we if we had a little bit more multi-attack there that would have been a little bit better oh well what can you do about it i am running the multi-attack on my ultimate spear but you know just because I'm running it doesn't mean they're going to multi-attack now, are they? Apparently. Probably wondering why she was not in slot one. Because of I, my homegirl Nilla. I've been with I've been using Anilla for so long now. I gotta gotta have her slot two, you know. Uh 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 you see that damage you just put out there? Oh you guys hating on Anilla. Now you can see that it does take a little bit of a while for Shiva to get the 4 million OD. Even when Anella and her charge boost gain, it does take a little bit of time. It's not instant, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to drop Shiva here, because why not? With two Shivas, you know, you can just drop it all willy nilly. Nice 2 million OD. I mean, 2 million auto. My fault. Drop Freya. Now, th this pool is not really based around how much HP you have, so it doesn't really matter if you, like, drop Phalanx here or anything. It's okay. Steven, you can, you can Ogi now. I 
kind of wish there was more ways to get from a faster OG, but there's not really that many ways. I can see the right there on Athena cramping up. I'll be doing a video on Athena a little bit later, so. But you get a little look at her. Oh, Anella has to work. Oh. We're heavily reliant on Anella buff for a maximum damage output. Just want to throw that out there. So her buff should be up. Yep. Again, you can use Shiva again, but I don't see a point of it. Um, yeah, we'll wait one turn. Next turn, we'll drop it. Actually, we'll turn after next. Uh, drop it on. Uh, yeah, yeah, turn after this. I want to be maximum value out of it. So. The most value I would get is on this turn, right after this one. He is so hard. These units. It feels weird not using Esther with Esther's new balance patch, but uh, it, it works. <laughs> you can't knock it if it works, right? So we got Athena getting hit a lot, which is good. You ideally want Athena to get hit as much as possible. That's like to be the most optimal thing. We killed it in eight turns, it's pretty okay. That's Shiva, uh, the newest fear unit to come. Gray Grand Blue, I guess. Athena is also the very strong unit, but she's more solo oriented. So whenever I do my Team on Malice solo video, you see Athena in action. She's great, great unit too. Both of them are good units. So thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget if you guys want to come join my Ultimate Bahamut High Level stream. Uh, I mean Bahamut High Level, not Ultimate. I may do Ultimate, but I'm my uh, I'm gonna focus purely on Bahamut High Level. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.